In this video, I want to show you how to change the font size of some text based on the value of a slider. So, as I move the slider towards the right hand side, you could see that the size of the text is increasing, right? It could be up to this value, that is up to end. You can increase the font size. And if you move the slider towards the left hand side, the font size will be decreased and the text will become smaller. So, if it is here, the text is looking like this. If it is at this end, the text is too small. So, let us see how we can change the font size of some text based on the value of a jQuery UI slider. So, to illustrate this, I have saved a web page and added reference to the latest jQuery and jQuery UI files. If you want to use jQuery UI, you have to make sure that you add reference to the jQuery files first and then jQuery UI files. I have added them online here. You can even download these files from the official websites of jQuery and jQuery UI and add reference here. Here I am adding them online. So this is the reference to latest jQuery file and these two are reference to the latest jQuery UI's files that is jQuery UI and also its corresponding CSS file. Now we need to have a slider that is a jQuery UI slider I am using here and also some dummy content. So first let me add the slider. For that we can use a div element and then make it as a slider using jQuery UI. So first let me add div id equals my slider. I am giving the id like that. Okay. And then let me add some dummy content. So let me specify p. And let me copy some dummy content from some of the dummy content generating sites. So I have added three paragraphs. So let me have different three paragraphs with a common class name content. Okay. Let me close the p tag here. That is the first p. And next let me add another p with class name again content so that we can access these three paragraphs using their common class name okay so this is the second paragraph let me end the p tag here and let me put another p tag here again with the class name content and let me close this p tag at the end that is here so we have three different paragraphs and also a div element which we will make as a slider that is a jQuery UI slider. Now let me save this and show you the output. See these are the three paragraphs. Next what we need to do we need to make that div element as a slider and write the code so that when its value changes the font size of this content should be changed. Right. So let's do that part now. Let me add the script section to have the jQuery code. So script is added. Next we need to have the document dot ready event. So dollar document dot ready. Within this let me add the function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces. And next let me first make it as a slider. So how we can do that? Let me access it using its id that is hash my slider. Then I have to specify dot slider which will make it a slider. Now let me check the output. Let me save this and show you. See a slider is added. Now we haven't written the code on the change of this value right. This is just a slider now but we have to write the code so that when the value increases the font size will be increased and when the value decreases the font size will be decreased. So we need to write that part next. So first I want to set the minimum, maximum and current value for the slider. So by default the jQuery UI's slider's minimum value is 0, maximum is 100 and the current value will be 0. That is why we are seeing the slider here at the beginning. So I want to have some current value and also want to change the minimum and maximum. Instead of 0 and 100 I want to set it as 10 and 50. 
So how we can do that? Within curly braces, I can specify min as 10, then current value as say 30 and maximum as 50. If the text becomes of font size 100, it will be too bigger, right? So I want to have the minimum font size as 10, maximum as 50 and the current value as 30. So if I specify it like this, the size of the slider will not change. It will occupy the whole space. But the current value is now here because this is the 30 value and the minimum is now 10 and the maximum is 50. Okay. Now we need to change the font size once the slider value changes. So how we can write? Let me write it on the change event and let me write the function and we can get the current value using UI. So we need to have event and UI as the arguments here and within curly braces what we need to do? We need to change the font size of the class content to the current value. So how I can specify dollar dot content which means it will access all the elements having the class name content dot css of font size we can set the font size using css what should be the value it should be ui dot value this will give the current value of the slider and it should be specified as px right so it should be set like this so here what happens on the change event, we are getting the value of the slider using ui.value and it is set as the font size for the elements having class name content. So as font size is a CSS property, we need to use the CSS method and it should be specified in px. Now let us see, let me save this and check the output. Now it is displayed like this. But actually, it should be having the font size 30. That is the current value. We need to write the code for that. But once we change the value, see, the size is increased. If we reduce it, see, it becomes smaller. So when the value gets changed, the font size is also increasing or decreasing. But at the page load, the current value is not set as the font size of this content. So what we need to do for that, for that, Outside this, let me access the content that is dollar dot content and we need to set its font size. So what we need to do, we can specify font size and how we can get the initial value, we can use option property for that. So here we need to specify dollar hash my slider which is the slider dot slider and the option value should be got so option value this will be a number right this will be 30 for us as we have specified value as 30 so we are getting the value of the option named value and it should be set in px so again we need to specify it in px so this will give us the current value of the slider value right now we will get it initially as well. Let me save this and show you. See, it is now having font size 30, which is the current value. Suppose I change this to say 10. Then what will be the change? The current value is 10 and the font size is also 10. So the average value of 50 and 10 is 30. That is why I have set the current value as 30. Now let me save this. See, now the text is having the font size 30 and if I increase this, the font size is increasing and if I'm moving it towards the left hand side, the font size is getting decreased as you could see the change here. So in this lecture, we have seen how we can change the font size dynamically based on the value of the slider. So the slider value is changing, which means that the font size is also changing. So here we have used jQuery UI slider to change the font size.